join me in giving a big round of applause to Steve Hilton. Thank you, Elise. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is a really impressive gathering, uh, both here and behind me. I mean, you know, this is a, just a very incredible group. Uh, and just that mayor and uh, Ted Turner. I mean, wow! Wow! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't ask him if anybody ever raised the question. You look like, I mean, I'm sure you've heard it about a thousand times. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me for making fun of you. <laughs> it's a compliment, by the way. It's a compliment. So, uh, like many of you, the Hilton Foundation has been involved with homelessness for many, many years. And I think the one difference today versus when we first started maybe 20-some years ago is that I would never have thought you'd have such collaboration between the city, the county, private foundations, the business community, um, and the, the NGOs that, that we're supporting. This is rare in my, I've been involved with the foundation for about 30 years, and I don't think I've seen something quite like this, um, and at least, and, and I think Renee said the same thing. Um, one other thing I, I'd like to add, that as a foundation, our mission is to help alleviate human suffering and when we looked around the country and said, where can we make a difference? And who are the people that have the greatest needs? And as Zeb, I think, mentioned that it's, it's really God's work when you're trying to help people who are homeless, mentally ill, uh, serious health issues, um, drug addictions of various sorts. I mean, I think these are some of the most difficult to serve and yet the the most needy. So that's why we're here, that's why we continue to be here. Um, it's interesting, uh, exactly one year ago, the Hilton Foundation Board approved that million dollars that Elise mentioned. So it's just a bizarre coincidence. The other thing is, you know, the LA Times ran their front page story, which is huge. You, know, you, don't, you don't see a lot of things like that in our world. And then I'm driving in this morning and I'm listening to NPR and they have a story about this gathering and what was really kind of sad, maybe sad but hopeful at the same time, I look over and there's a homeless person standing right next to my car. But I, I take this again as a very, very hopeful sign what's happening here. Um, I won't thank a lot of people because you've already heard all of you have thanked everybody, so I, I am part of that. I extend the same thanks to everybody. Um, finally, there's one person in particular I'd like to recognize, and that's um, Eileen Getty, who's with us today. And when the Hilton Foundation made our challenge grant, she was the one, in fact, the day that we publicly made that announcement, Eileen came up to me and gave me a hug, which was pretty cool for somebody I'd never met before, and said, hi, I'm Eileen, and, uh, and, and I'd like to match your grant with a million dollars. So um, I think that was a wonderful, wonderful thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that, I'd like to invite Eileen to come up.